All right, I'm uh, I'm showing a video here of how amazing the bright light is that you can get from LED headlights on your snowblower. Now, of course, this is a snowblower that already had a headlight circuit um, before it had a very very dim uh, halogen uh, headlight just a single one. I always wanted two so I didn't get get shadows from the snow shoot uh, as I was redirecting the snow shoot. So uh, I now have two LED headlights. However, this is a different type of video uh, than what you're uh, typically going to find on YouTube or anywhere else because I actually wired up these headlights use, using a bridge rectifier. Since the voltage coming out of the headlight circuit is AC voltage on most most snowblowers. I don't know of any that are actually DC unless they have a battery on the snowblower. Uh, since they are actually a, uh, it's actually an AC current coming out of that uh, circuit, you're actually getting a varying voltage. Typically LED lights will then, running off of AC, they actually flicker so they flicker with that varying AC voltage. What I've done is I've actually uh, wired them up using a bridge rectifier, which essentially a bridge rectifier is, is an all-in-one unit where it has four diodes that actually make AC current into DC current. So you don't get the flickering when you actually attach a bridge rectifier to the existing headlight circuit uh, so you get nice consistent light from very inexpensive LED headlights now these particular headlights are uh, they're 9 watts a piece which basically is maximizing the uh, the voltage uh, available or I should say the actual amperage uh, available from the specific alternator that is on this snowblower. Uh, so uh, I'll kind of get close here. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, I guess I'll uh, I'll have to show you a little bit more of a close up of the install in just a second here. Uh, I will actually turn on the unit, which is what everyone wants to see, anyways. So I'm going to start the snowblower here. So, uh, let's pull the uh, snowblower back into the light. Thanks for your patience, everybody. Uh, I, uh, I'm i not uh, able to actually edit this video using any... I don't have any video editing software. So, uh, thanks for understanding here. Uh, you can see I have... I've added a... a piece of metal here that I had laying around 
to actually mount. I wanted to get the the actual headlights up as high as possible, and this is a really nice nice uh, option for me. And then I uh, I added a small piece of metal right here coming off of uh, the handlebar supports. Uh, these are very inexpensive 9 watt headlights or basically fog lights I, I fog lights I should say uh so there I got them I think off of eBay for like 30 bucks but uh, I had done the calculations to make sure that I wasn't drawing too much current from the alternator I did want to maximize my my light that I could uh uh you know get out of this alternator which ends up being like one to i think one one or one and a quarter amp that comes out amps that come out of the uh alternator on this specific uh toro is a power shift 1028 so 10 horsepower um motor uh tecumseh so uh if there's any questions I'll of course uh, answer any uh, on the uh, the comment section, and I'll even include a link to the uh, well to to the specific bridge rectifier that I used. It's uh, about the size of a uh, about a fifty cent piece. Very inexpensive, I think. Geez, I think it was under five bucks if I remember right. So awesome option for those that are wanting to add really bright LED headlights to their snowblower and not have flickering light but consistent light from the DC current created by a bridge rectifier so uh, thank you for watching everybody and uh, thanks for understanding with the uh, the video editing uh, I know it's not as smooth as some make, but uh, I thought I'd pass along some knowledge here from my research. Thank you. Bye-bye.